make her feel welcome. And Miss Katie, whenever you're ready, you may begin. Many people are ashamed of their faith, faith for various reasons. But today I'd like to talk about Romans 1 verse 16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. First the Jew and then to the Gentile. Paul, who was Saul, wrote Romans. When Paul was Saul, he persecuted Christians and was very against people sharing their faith. Then one day, as he was on the road trying to get Christians and putting them in jail and a bunch of stuff, he met Jesus, and Jesus caused him to become blind. And he waited for a while at a place, at a house and waited for the prophet to come, to come and give him his sight back. And then after that, he became Paul and, start, and started uh, sharing his faith with everyone. If Paul wasn't afraid of his faith, and God, then neither should we. Jesus, Jesus tells us how he feels about us hiding our faith. In Mark 8, Mark 8 verses 34 through 38 it says, And calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come for me, after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and for my sake, and the gospel will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, will of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed, when he comes in the glory of the Father with the holy angels. What uh, what Mark is saying here is that when God, if we're ashamed of God now in this lifetime, when God comes back, He's going to be ashamed of us and not wanting to be with us, even though it hurts Him to do that. If you, if you, if you're as Christians, we as Christians shouldn't be afraid to share our faith. We should be. We are raised in a Christian school, and we learn every day that we should be able to share our faith with others. But when people start saying something about what they believe, we automatically shut off our faith and we go act like them sometimes. But in other cases, we don't. We're not afraid because they're curious about it. They're curious about what we believe. And then we're all for sharing our, our faith. So when we, so what, there's, what I'm trying to say is that we shouldn't be afraid. And even if you don't believe in God, you have values that you, that you have. Such as saying, if your friend says, oh, I really want this shirt, they have plenty of them, let's go take one. You know that it's wrong. You don't want to do it. Say no. You're standing up for what you believe and what your values are. Some other verses are, are that should talk about us being ashamed of our faith is Hebrews 1, 11, verse 16. <laughs> but, as, but as it is, they desire a better country that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. What, um, what the author is saying here is that God is not ashamed to be called our God. He created us to be the way that we are. Yes, we sinned and we took advantage of what God put as a perfect world, but he's still not ashamed of us. He sent his son to die for us so that we could become perfect again. Then that, the last verse is Peter 4, verse 16. Yet if anyone who suffered, one suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. As Mrs. Brandt said during one of the things in Columbine, that girl was asked whether she believed or not. She said, yes, I believe, and she died for her faith. We should put our faith first. If we follow these verses and apply them to our lives, we can be more confident in our faith. How many of you here have heard of Duck Dynasty? Pretty much all of you. You know they, they're they Christian. They're not afraid to show their faith. They pray every every time at the meal on TV. And as you can see as your hand up, they're not the only ones. Carrie Underwood, she wrote this song called Something in the Water, which is about how she feels about baptism. Another actress, Candace Cameron from Full House, is a big Catholic. And then I was surprised to know that Tyler Perry was a Christian. I had no idea that he was, so that was something new for me. 
these stars are faithful to their God and aren't afraid to share their faith. Therefore, we shouldn't either. Romans 1, for, oh, and another thing that I, for my faith, is this is my handout, uh, my visual aid. My confirmation book. There are many letters that my family based off my confirmation verse. They told me that I will be persecuted as a Christian. I will be kicked off because of what I believe. And um, my mom and dad wrote a passage saying, for you are a precious daughter and you will be persecuted. But God chose you to be his to be his child and I know you will do great in the world as sharing your faith. Romans 1 verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Paul wrote these verses so that we would not be ashamed. Celebrities share their faith every day. So we as children of God don't need to be afraid to share our faith because God is not ashamed of us. Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you.